Today we're going to be talking about yard sign design, specifically how to maximize visibility with yard sign design. So a couple of the tips that I'd like to share today is going through the uh, contrast. So when you're building a design, you want to make sure that the text is not heavy and it does not blend well with the background. We want high contrast colors for the text. The logo needs to be the most important thing that stands out, or if we're doing a political sign, we want to have the measure that's that's being voted on. So if it's for A or vote for one, um, vote yes on this particular subject, we want to get the point across very quickly and plainly and simply so that when people do see it on the ballot, even if they're not familiar with the issue, they've seen it a few times around town. So. The other thing that is newer and uh, opinion-based solely is having a phone number versus not having a phone number on the yard sign. I believe that not having a phone number or a QR code or something to contact is uh, a better way to maximize the size of the yard sign. When you're working in 1824 size, 12 by 18, you don't have a whole lot to work with. So by putting your logo in as the front and center main thing, you can put it at a job site. You can say, this is me, this is, this is what's going on. Um, don't have to fill up the space with a phone number. We just want brand recognition and brand awareness when you're going from place to place. Now, same thing goes for the voting. We don't need to put too much information on there. And the same goes for you know chain or franchise uh, places that are gonna be running a sale. Let's not put too much information on there. Less is more. Be visible, use high contrasting colors, and let your yard signs be seen.